Hey, it's long-haired Alex. Never really seen him before. When I was in middle school, I had the Bieber haircut, so this is a little flashback. But today, you and I are going to be writing our own encryption and decryption algorithm in Java. But first, if you're new here, my name is Alex. I post a Java tutorial on this channel every single week, just like this one. So if you're new here and you might want to see that, then consider hitting that subscribe button and that bell to join the notification squad. If you enjoy growing as a person like I do, I struggle to find that time, you should really check out Audible. It's something I've been using for a long time. We've got audiobooks, podcasts, and guided meditation. I've used it for a book called How to Build a Billion Dollar App and also a Y Combinator startup book. They have thousands of titles to choose from, guys, and I really recommend it to all of you because that's how I've improved as a person. So I think it might help you too. Visit audibletrial.com slash Alex Lee to get your first audiobook free. And you can use it on one of the books I just mentioned. And that's audibletrial.com slash Alex Lee. So let's get started. We're going to go to file new Java project. And we're going to call it encryption. Hit finish. And then inside that project, we're going to go to new class. We'll name this like encrypt again with the main method and hit finish. Let's start by first asking ourselves, what does encryption sound like? What's that word sound like? Encryption. You may be brought back to ancient Egypt where they used cryptography, hieroglyphics. Am I getting my history right? But anyway, way back in history, they would send these messages, like physical paper messages to other people. Sometimes they'd be like a little dial thing, but it'd be all scrambled symbols. But if they knew one piece of information, they could unscramble the puzzle and look at the message. This was to make sure nobody else could easily see the message because it was really important and also gave the reader a very easy way to decode it. So encryption would be something like this. I'm gonna make some comments here about um, an example. So say a message is, let's declare war on Alex. Please don't, I don't know why I do this to myself. And the corresponding um, key, or not key, but message would be like this. And so the question would be, well, how do you get from this to this is a key. And this confused me for such a long time, like key, the key, the word key is something they use all the time in programming. And it, it confused me so much. A key doesn't have to be a physical key. It doesn't have to be a long string of text. A key is just a small piece of information that lets you decode. So for example, let's do one word, Alex. And then let's say that the corresponding encrypted message is B M F Y. Oh. I don't know where that J came from. BMFY. As a receiver, if all I see is BMFY, I don't know what that means. But if the key I gave was the message is every letter of the previous message plus one, then I can decode it by going back down. One minus the B character is A. One minus the M character is L. One minus the F character is E. One minus the Y character is X. We have our original message, our encoded message with the algorithm, we give the key and any other information needed to decode it, and then we can decode the message. And this is the program we're going to be writing today. So let's get started. So we've got some string that's say, maybe the message is, hey, how's it hanging? Then we print that out. We'll get, hey, how's it hanging? because it's not encrypted. So let's encrypt this message using a simple algorithm. There are a million algorithms to encrypt and decrypt messages. Some are like a five step process that randomize and then based off that randomization, use mapping to conglomerate symbols, but it's all just the message symbols to different symbols, numbers, characters, whatever. In this one, we're gonna use a really simple one by offsetting each character a certain amount, like we did in the example. So to do this with a string, we actually have to convert this string to a character array to make it easier to work with so we can alter each individual character. So to do that, we can create a character array like this called chars, and then we can use a string method on text to convert to char array called to char array. Now, hey, how's it hanging is all character variables in this character array. We'll go through each one of them using a for loop for each character C inside of the chars array. We're going to offset it by the key. So we can say the current character plus equals the key. Let's say it's five. Now, if you'll notice, this is a character variable plus an integer variable. Characters and integers actually work together because all the characters are like ASCII characters, which is like a big list of all the characters on the keyboard, basically. So you can add to them to go down the list. Say A is zero, A plus one, 
would be B. So we'll add 5 to it and then just print out that character C. Okay, let's save and run. Let's make this a little easier to see by just doing print, not print line. And we'll put this original text beforehand. Save run. So we have the original message and then we have this encrypted message. And if you count, each one of these will be the original letter plus five on that ASCII chart list. And if we change this to one for a little easier example, then we'll get one after H is I, one after E is F, all the way down. If you'll see this comma, the next symbol on the ASCII chart after the comma would be this dash. The one after space would be exclamation mark. It's pretty cool. So let's actually store that, um, oops, store that key as an integer. We'll say the key is six. So we could do C plus key, and then that would change based on the key. Now, how would we decrypt this message? Say we get this message and we wanna convert it back. We wanna decode it or decrypt it. So let's copy that and put this as a message. And now we wanna create a decryption program. What we would do is we have the same key. The key is just the little piece of information we need to put into our algorithm. In this case, it's a simple algorithm that goes down, in this case, six letters on the ASCII chart. So we'll print the text, that's fine. Convert to char array, that's fine. But instead of incrementing six to each character, we wanna decrement six from each character to get back to the original message. So we'll just change this to a minus, and that'll be it. If we save and run, we have our original message and then we decrypt it using our little algorithm. So that was basically a simple encryption and decryption algorithm. I hope this was cool. I know if I was just starting learning Java, this would be a super cool program that I could learn. So let me know if you like videos like this. If you wanna keep learning, check out my other videos or click that Audible link in the description. That's an affiliate link. It's something I personally use, so I think it will help you out. So thank you, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.